Hello friends, this is a video section 2 on how to install the DFSRP on the Windows 7 64-bit operating system. After signing the driver and restart the PC, we can click, double-click the DFLC panel icon on the desktop, and you will find this device is not registered. And right now, users can click one channel, right-click, generate one registration file SRP my SRP I can put this file on the desktop next users can email this registration file to support at dolphindatalab.com or sales at dolphindatalab.com after that, users will get one DAT activation file. Okay, so users have two methods to activate the DFSRP. First, users can right-click, import the activation file, SRP. Yeah, import this file. Second method, users can go to the DFL SRP installation folder. Okay, here is the installation folder. Copy the DAT activation file. Copy it. Paste it here. Okay. Then, users can reopen the DFLC panel. Okay, users will find the device has been activated. Users can click any channel to open the program. Click SATA1 to open WD, yes, and PATA to open, for example, Hitach. So that means users can open uh, DDP, Hitach, WD, or other, or the Seagate, Samsung, Toshiba, Fujitsu at the same time and work on three hard drives at the same time. So this control panel is very easy to use. If users don't like to use the control panel, it's okay. Users can close the control panel and go to the installation folder okay users can run DDP directly okay users can run Toshiba Fujitsu directly Or users can also run Hitach. Yeah, users can uh, run them one by one and run them together. Yeah, users can also send the DDP to the desktop. For example, my DDP can also send the Toshiba Fujitsu to the desktop icon my Toshiba Fujitsu okay so like this way users can run them one by one something okay select SATA 0 then users enter the Samsung from a repair program so it's very easy. Users can run these programs separately or users can use the control panel to use the program. Yeah, so users can use and master all the operations in two methods like this one. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video.